Whoa, what a mess. Also, can you believe Whoa. this? Look at this mess. We had some campers here over the weekend, and they didn't clean up any of their garbage. Oh, boy, you sure made a mess. Where are you going to put all that junk, Rinzi? Well, some of it will go in the dumpster, and some of it I can recycle. Well, that's good. Yeah, this is plastic. Plastic? Recycle. Yeah! Oh, I hate plastic. Yeah. Oh, nasty stuff. Yeah. What do you mean, Roscoe? Well, plastic. I don't like plastic anymore. Last week, one of my fun feathered uh, furry friends uh, got tangled all up in the plastic in, in a six pack ring, and he, and he couldn't get out of it. And, oh, oh, like I one of these. Oh, I can't stand plastic. Oh, Roscoe, I'm sorry to hear that. You know, if people would be a lot more careful and a little bit safer with their plastic and try some recycling, uh, wouldn't, wouldn't have accidents like that, huh? That's true, well, yeah. You know what? A... I've got some friends who know a lot about recycling plastic, so I'll give them a call during the cartoon, okay? That's good. You should use the phone oh, for that. Yeah, right. okay. Well, let's watch a cartoon, then, okay? Yeah, hello. Yeah, we got some kids here. We want to teach them about recycling. It's on my neck. a little bit better. This is Pete Monson. You remember him. He came with the yeah. llamas. Hey, Roscoe. And this is Recycle Pete. Recycle Pete. Pretty well, he special people here. Like yeah. yeah, what have you got to tell us about recycling plastic? Well, Ranger Charlie, our planet is not getting any bigger, but the population is. You boys and girls are going to be tomorrow's future. And as we use up more garbage and waste, it fills up dumps and landfills. Mm -hmm. And plastic doesn't break down. Plastic bottles and this plastic ring here will be around for hundreds and hundreds of years. So if we're going to use plastics, we need to use them wisely, which means to reuse them and recycle them. That's why I and Recycle Pete are here today to tell you about that. And I've got some other friends that can go ahead and tell us a little bit more. Oh, so, Ranger okay. Charlie, can Let's you go visit them. I'll snap us, us there. there. You betcha. You ready? Hang see, on now, see Pete. See you guys later. Oh, here we are. Who have we got here, Pete? Well, Ranger Charlie, I brought some of my students from Mount Si High School yeah. in Snoqualmie. Chad's going to tell us a little bit about gill nets and plastic six pack All rings. Right. Chad? Well, we have this gill net here. And you don't find these too often, but something that hurts the wildlife just as much are these plastic six pack rings. Um, you find them along roadways, ditches, mm -hmm. waterways, and they uh, hurt the hurt the wildlife much more than that does. See, so the animals can get caught in those like Roscoe's mm -hmm. friend. And uh, the people, what people don't realize is you should properly dispose of these and cut them before you throw them out or throw them into the trash cans, wherever you're going to get rid of them. So anytime you're done with the six pack, just snip off each one mm -hmm. so none of the circles are there anymore. Yeah, is there anything else we could do with them besides throw um, them away in our wonderful age of reusing and recycling? There are lots of fun projects you can use here. Heather, yeah. what do you got I'm, here? I'm making a hammock out of, um, out of six pack rings. And, this is great. Um, cut up plastic bags. This is very really cool. And it's you just nice. tie that together, huh? Yes. Roscoe could sleep in this, and this boy. is all this made out of plastic. And this right? one's Roscoe size. We can make one a little bit bigger for Ranger oh, size. Oh, boy. And yeah. make one for uh, Chad size. That's Dang, beautiful, these are Heather. Ranger station. That is fantastic. <laughs> Good deal. And, and what else can you tell us about plastic? Another thing you can do is save plastic containers such as this one, mm -hmm. and you can put small toys, marbles, and other stuff, you know, granola, granola food. for Just hiking. Just reusing containers. And you could reuse it as a canteen, too, your empty pot bottles. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Those great. are some great ideas. All right, and well, we're going to head on back to the ranger station yeah. here, guys. So here we go. Hang on, Pete. There we go. We had some pretty pretty good ideas there, huh, Roscoe? Yeah, that's a clever idea. Now, Pete's that's got me. another idea here that you can do with, you know those salad containers like you get at McDonald's, the little plastic containers? Oh, yeah, Instead I know of throwing about. those out, here's something you can do with them. Oh, you got something to do with them. This huh? is a mini greenhouse. Now, you can go ahead and go down to some of your local department stores and probably pay $9.95 for a greenhouse like this or order a salad from the North Bend McDonald's or another food service area and save your container afterwards. We begin by pouring a little bit of soil into that. Then we take some of our special uh, okay. earth seeds that we have left over from yesterday's Earth Day celebration. We go ahead and get our soil leveled out, nice and level at the very top. And then we go ahead and drop our seeds right on the very top. We don't want to go ahead and plant them too deep or they won't come up. That's we only want to go ahead and cover those with soil. Now it takes two things for soils, little seeds, to be able to germinate and grow. Those two things are moisture and warmth. Then, okay. using your plastic water bottle canteen, you can pour just a little bit of water yeah, right yeah. over the top of that. Get it evenly spread right over there. 
So we've got the warmth, we've got the water. Now this time of the year when it's still a little bit cool outside, boys and girls, we want to start these inside where it's a little bit warmer. And a greenhouse holds the moisture in, it holds the humidity in, and it also holds the warmth in. We then go ahead and put our little plastic greenhouse lid over the top of it, and then we just let it sit there for several days, and within three to four days, our little plants will go ahead and grow up out of that. And then within no time at all, our plants are going to be beaming Whoa, out of our this, greenhouse, Whoa. and they'll be ready to be transplanted outside, which can be very easily done by simply uh, putting your fingers underneath the root system, taking that, that little Rasta? plant, it and then planting fast. it outside. That's this great. works wonderful. Now, these plants outside are going to help our earth by putting oxygen into the air and actually cleaning the air up. That's a great. wonderful thing to do for Earth Day because every day should be Earth Day. It's great. Well, why don't you guys job, go ahead Dave. and start handing them out to the kids here? These kids here are even going to have McDonald's greenhouses growing, and we got a cartoon for you guys. <laughs> right, Recycle Pete? Cartoon. <laughs> Hey, if you'd like Recycle Pete to come visit your school, all you have to do is write or call. Here's the address, 1201 3rd Avenue, Suite 3930, Seattle, Washington, 98101, or give them a call at 223-8080. Hey, Roscoe, well, Pete and I are relaxing on this recycled bench from the Pierce County Solid Waste Division. We're going to watch another cartoon. Oh, they Yay! made that bench out of recycled waste. Recycle Pete, it's time for the birthday wrap. Yo! 